Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and we've just completed our evolutionary timeline model, and now we're going to be looking to investigate our focus question here, um, looking at um, completing an activity that will help us connect this idea of evolutionary time. So all that time we saw between the beginning of Earth to humans first arriving, and those structural differences that we see between different descendant species. So those differences might be like the differences in teeth and skulls and arms and limbs and things like that. So in order for us to answer the question, how did descendant species from a common ancestor become very different? We have to think about the time that has passed between species like Tiktaalik and humans or other animals from early on in Earth's history. And to do that, our activity is going to have us sorting some cards. So in today's activity, we'll be working to analyze six different structure change cards. Okay, These six cards will describe six different structural changes that happened over some of our evolutionary time. Now, each card that you will see be on a slideshow and that slideshow will have some different species that you'll be comparing some background information about those species and the structural changes that occurred between them so how they were different in a lot of different ways what the card doesn't tell us is how much evolutionary time has occurred in order for those two species to result in the different changes that we see so we don't know how much time has passed but we know what changes occurred okay between some of the uh, things we see in the cards so you'll be sorting the cards according to how long you think each of these structural changes took um, and happened between our different species um, so exa for example you'll have your six different cards and you'll be putting them in order you'll place the six cards on a timeline kind of like what we did with our model and you'll show the structural changes and whether or not they took more time to occur or less time okay the longer evolutionary time that you think took for those structural changes you'll put them on the left side so maybe you think the structural changes in card three took the longest and then you'll put the shortest time on the right side so we'll see all six cards from longest evolutionary time to shortest evolutionary time so let's take a look at one of the cards to see how long it would take for some of these structural changes to occur and then we'll think about where we put it on our timeline so this would be one of the cards that you'll be looking at structural change card number one and you'll see two different time points so time point one shows the first living thing on earth this is what it was and then time number two would be the earliest mammal in earth's history so we know on our timeline these are big events okay that happened between different species and these are the structural changes that we see on the arrow here. So from the time of our first living thing to our earliest mammal, we saw that tissues and nervous cells developed. So the things that allow us to feel, the things that run through our body, all of those things developed. We know that a backbone developed, so the vertebrae, the bones in our back developed. And then we know that limbs and digits um, developed as well. So that one, arm, one bone, two bone, many bone feature occurred. So we know that all of these structural changes happened from our first point in Earth's history to the earliest mammal showing up. All of these changes had to happen. So we have to ask ourselves, well, how much time do we think that took? Okay, thinking about our calendar, thinking about evolutionary history, did that take a couple hundreds of years, thousands of years, millions of years, billions of years? How much time do we think it passed? A lot of time? A medium amount of time? And from there, we're going to um, think about the structural changes. So based on the changes that happened, we have to decide, did it take a long time or not? Well, the amount of time it takes for nerves and backbones and limbs to develop over time would, would take a long, long, long time. Okay, so we know that card number one is probably going to be at the very beginning of our timeline. Those changes going from being a single-celled organism to all of those things developing over time would take a long time because small changes would lead to the big differences that we see. So we place the other cards next to card number one to show that differences in the amount of time. Okay, And when you're done, you should have all six of them. So you're thinking about how much time has passed between those structural changes. Do we think it's a long time? A short time and then we'll put them in order 
the changes that took the longest will go on the left. The changes that take the shortest amount of time would go on the right. And when we're done, we would have them all in order, all six. So these are our six cards that we're going to be looking to sort from longest time for the changes to occur to shortest time. Ask yourself, do we understand how to sort the different cards based on the structural changes? And do we understand how to order them within our evolutionary timeline? So do I understand how to figure out how much time I think has passed between the changes? Do I understand how to put them in order of that length? If so, go ahead and put your X where you fall. If not, reach out and good luck.